Okay, this is our 2014-2015 schoolroom. Yes, it is in our sunroom. And we can see right outside to the backyard. That's why I love it. It's an ideal location. We can see the kids there and on the trampoline. So let me just start here and give a panoramic view. This is my teacher's desk that has all the stuff I need to teach. There is my computer desk with books and storage of curriculum, paper, all that good stuff. Then we have our comfortable seating area for the children, baskets of toys and such. And then we have over here, this is a book storage shelf for the kids, crown box storage, so forth. And then we have my oldest son's desk, which has a cubby and backpack storage and um, desk storage, as well as my um, seven year, uh, my, excuse me, my four year old who's in pre-K. And then this is my son's desk, and this has like his little passwords and stuff on his things. And then we have um, my other son. He's the kindergartner, and my daughter. She's in second grade. And then we have our little Pledge of Allegiance and the little, this is really kind of cute. This tells the schedule for the little kids, um, the little bear thing. I got that on a daily thing. Then up here is our awesome map of the different continents and countries. And over here we have the homeworks, the homework schedule and the class schedule. And I just used the back of my board. I didn't have a room for um for um a whiteboard. I didn't have anywhere to put it. And then here's our other board that I use. I just put a tablecloth from Dollar Tree up there. There's my books and storage. Her bag, that's my daughter's bag, with our trash bag that we put like paper in. And then again my desk with all the lovely stuff for school supplies in it. Okay, this is my homeschool binder. This is basically made up of clip art. Go to google.com, my favorite clip art. I just put in backpacks and teachers and these popped up and I just pasted them. This one is for my oldest son, Justice, my daughter, Liberty, my kindergartner, Noble, and my pre-K, Jalen. She's in second and he's in fifth. And you'll see this theme throughout. Okay. Um, Let's just go ahead and get started here. This is my dashboard. Very fun. I like all the colors and things. This is this little thing right here. They are there. I cannot find these anywhere. I try to order them. There's nowhere to be found. But I wanted to keep them. Um, so I just decided to put in this little clear plastic folder so that I can write on it and I can still have it. Uh, this is announcing a confirmation, Domestic Divas Developing Disciples. This came from my daughter's kindergarten pictures. I really wanted that on there because it was just confirming that I actually am going to do homeschooling because I went back and forth on it um, for so long, probably about two years. I couldn't decide if I wanted to do it or not. Um, but this right here has a list of all the wonderful things I have to do and get done. I love that little color paper. It's fun. Sticky notes behind there. Incentive chart um, extras because we do those sometimes. This is not part of my binder. Um, this is actually a separate lesson plan. And it's really easy. Um, this is the first page, of course, with my family, my husband, my children. Um, this is our information page. And then this goes right into the month. Uh, I used to have um, Bible stories that I put down there, but I decided to change it. So as you can see, it's erased out. So you remember... Only write with a pencil, never a pen, especially in anything that has to do with school, because it will probably change. But there's our field trips written in and our face-to-face. -face. Um, these bindy clips, I love these bindy clips. I got the whole shebanigan. I got 12 of them from the Dollar Tree for like a dollar. But this is our template. This is already filled out for this week, and um, this is for the next week. Um, that's already done. So as you can see, my topics are a little, my headings are a little different. And if we flip back here, this is the template. This is a, my template is completed, but my assignments haven't been written in there. Okay, so it goes like that through the whole thing, just the month and the the week planning, and that's just separate right there. So I can just grab that with the kids. This is continuing on with my notebook, and as you can tell, you see the the cute little lady there and the domestic diva developing disciples thing, and of course my little bindy clip. Let me go ahead and do this first. I'm trying to keep a track on the time too. But this is our, our goal setting page. With our unit study. Again, the domestic diva. And our scripture is choose this day who you will serve. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. 
That's just our basic family motto. That's just numeral uno. But these are our unit studies um, when we go through. And those are just plugged in at the morning time, just um, going through and just chit-chatting about five minutes. I mean, two or three minutes with it, you know, no more than five. Old Testament, um, Bible Way um, Academy is the name of our school. And our theme is Domestic Diva Developing Disciples. So those are some subject lists. I left these empties for the future to add more subjects and topics now because there's plenty to go over. These are things that are not included with the South Carolina Virtual Charter School that we are co-oping with. World History, Geography, and U.S. Government. We are co-oping and they do not cover those, which is great for me because I love those subjects and topics. So I just go over them um, myself. And one little part of a scripture that we stand on is, Therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Touch no unclean thing and I will receive you. That's 2 Corinthians 6, 16 and 17. That's a partial of it. Then the other one is, do not conform to the ways of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what is God's will, his good, pleasing, and perfect will, Romans 12 and 2. So we kind of stand on those. We don't really use these um, because, like I said, the charter school that we co-op with, they do all that. And this is their tentative um, yearly potential calendar, what, what they want to do. After that, the next bind, the next thing you see is a great binder. I have a couple of these. These are just um, um, folders that I cut in half so that I could um, use them as, you know, they just look better than regular binders. This is our attendance sheet. Now, that charter school that we are co-oping with wants us to write down the minutes that each job spends on each subject. So, that's the sheet for that. You know, kind of keeps track of what we're actually doing, how much time we spend on it. And this is the original template that I used. I just went to Microsoft Word and got um, a Monday through Friday schedule and just plugged their names in it and blah, blah. And again, there's that little Domestic Diva Developing Disciples that you'll see throughout this whole thing. On the back of here are some websites that we can use um, for different things like reading eggs, study island, things like that. Again, another one of those binders. Actually, they're folders that I'm using as binders. and um, They come through in a pack. This paper is so awesome, as you've seen it throughout here. I've got this for a dollar. It was like a hundred sheets for a dollar. It's the green, the blue, the or the green, the orange, the yellow looking neon. Anyways, these were a dollar at Walmart. I could not pass it up. But I'm using these for things that they may need, uh, that they may have difficult with. And I, math and English are the only two that I really, you know, think that we need to really focus on that much. If you look at these, this is those little labels once again with the backpacks on them that go with the front. Again, I wanted to keep everything consistent. There's the oldest ones and my daughter's. Here is just some teaching tools to help with the children's reading, just to go further and deeper in their reading. Again, these are the lesson plans. Now I've got, I know that you've seen this with a lesson plan, but this is the actual template curriculum that I use. This is the homeschool prayer um, cute, got it from Facebook, wanted to write it down, very colorful, pretty. Um, this I just went through, I've done this a little different. I got the textbook and I went through and I just started where I wanted to start. This one starts with subjects and predicates. We didn't want to do the other stuff in the beginning, the first two chapters to really kind of really review, but I went straight through the content, table of contents, the pages, and wrote them down. I did this for every single um, subject like that we, that I teach, which is writing and grammar, um, U.S. government, again, my little cute little binder things to keep everything together. Um, world history. Now, this one, I didn't put the page numbers down because we're going to use these. We're going to do online YouTube and TeacherTube, and we're just going to do the three to four minute um, little videos. It's fun just to get everyone calm at the height of the day, and those are the websites that I was able to go to already for those. And this is my son's fifth grade, or this is actually um, geography. We only do that once a week. This is my son's reading list. And again, the cute little backpack. Um, this is fifth grade math. And again, the boys reading list. This is the one that's in kindergarten. And he's in pre-K, but they're going to do these together. And this is my grading. I haven't done anything with this. I want to do something fun. I'm not sure yet. But this is just a little grade box. Um, I haven't really got to put anything in because we haven't really done much. But I do hope to go through um, and do these. Um, my daughter's, is, one of my daughter's sheets is actually done. 
and it looks like this. This is just the subjects and what the topics are, and then I'll put the grades over here for the week, because this one's like a, like a week thing. You do four days of study, and then you do like a quiz on Friday. This is where my home management binder part begins. Um, I'm working for the classroom, 2014-2015, and again, my sweet little lady. And this is like our food menu for this month, go to very quickly. Another one of my binder clips that come from the other thing, and then my year at a glance. I also use this little doohickey right here because this is a journal page. I discovered today that I need this to jot things down. Um, I never thought that I would need a homeschool journal, but I actually do. Another thing that goes along with this is this. As you can tell, they're all kind of cord color coordinated together, which is really helpful to me. This is my extras, like my extra pretty color paper that I need is in here. If I'm working, I can just go right to it. And these are my extra labels for each of my children. These are, the, these are actually behind the thing, and I'm starting here. These are out. Um, extra big label packet. And my extra sheets here, and again, some notebook paper there. This is the mother of all mothers. I know you're like, oh my gosh, you got like three planners. Well, this is a master planner. As you can tell, this is the day, this is like the time, this is exactly what we are going to be doing. This is so in depth. Um, this is like my master plan, and I just copied this out. This is for the whole semester. Um, so this doesn't change. So when I go and put it in here, this is tentative. So I'm able to be a little flexible in here. So I know what I'm doing. See, all this can be filled up anytime um, from this master plan right here. Um, so this is really convenient for me. With the charter school, I had to go through and get the page numbers and things off so that my children would know what they're into, what they're going to do. So I'll give a 